नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी इज लाइव फोन एंड इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तानवी खुराना एंड इन दिस इंग्लिश क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डायरी राइटिंग वेल राइटिंग इज अ स्किल विच यू डिवेलप वाइल राइटिंग एंड देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स विच यू कैन राइट बी इट अ डायरी बी इट अ नोटिस एन एस एंड मल्टीपल थिंग्स बट हाउ आर दे इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट इज द मेन क्रॉक्स ऑफ डायरी राइटिंग this is what we are going to discuss in this particular program if you have any questions regarding this topic please feel free to give us a call on our number which is 8800440559 and you're watching us right now on our pm e vidya channel number 10 all the 10th class standards you can raise your questions and send us your questions through our email id which is dth.class10@ciet.nic.in Now let me introduce you to our today's expert who will be explaining all the nuances of diary writing and he is nobody else but Professor R Meghnathan a very warm welcome to you sir hello, hello learners how are you then uh, how are you i am great sir i hope you fine too thank you you have really explained the purpose of uh, diary writing and of course writing also let our learners take take it forward from there absolutely mm, yes, right. let me just introduce our professor to all of you sir is from department of education in languages ncert new delhi and uh, we'll be requesting him to give us all the details regarding diary writing so let's ask him only sir why is diary writing so important and uh, what are the main points that we need to keep in mind while writing the diary fine all right that that's good mm-hmm. first of all let me ask you okay. have you written your diary an entry into your diary i have Uh, yeah that's great so mo- most of us yeah, in one one at one point of time may have written your diary yeah. might have written or some sometimes you write then you forget sometimes you leave it then again you write it yeah. those those kinds of uh, things uh, we have done but diary writing is an a kind of art uh, or a feeling that we write uh, in order to express our own selves to ourselves fine mm. okay so you you said you have written a diary let, let let's let's see the, the that slide there Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so you said you have written a diary. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you what have you written. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyhow, uh, generally, let us think what generally people write uh, write about in a diary. So they write their experiences, what uh, happened in their day, any happy feelings, any sad instances they witnessed, or any such thing. Fine. Whatever happens. on the particular day yes. then that means we generally write on in the evening yeah. so uh, this is one another thing uh, what is written in a diary i'm not asking you a personal thing what is generally written in a diary um so when i travel mm-hmm. i write my experiences how i felt how i met people how i ate a different cuisine uh, so from, from that from, from place. the morning to evening whatever yes. i have done okay let, let's look at the uh, slide there again uh you will see that during the day or at the end of the day we write uh, mm-hmm. during the day sometimes we, we write we do, we write the experiences and feelings our own feeling yeah that's fine all right okay learners uh, let's do this way uh let's make um, can we write a diary mm-hmm. uh so that uh, we'll understand how a diary is written and i also request you learners you also start writing as we write here fine all right okay uh let us take up uh i do do a kind of brainstorming right. what and all we will be putting into this entry of uh, our diary your okay. diary okay uh let's think about it today so assume that today evening it's 8 o'clock or 9 9, 9 o'clock right. you are recalling the whole sort of experiences of the day uh, mm. to write this diary so what will we write it Let, let's try a kind of uh, what's a mind quick, mapping um, yeah whatever mapping you call it <laughs> okay okay concept mapping um, yeah fine okay let's look at what what tanvi does okay so here uh. today's uh. experiences okay mm-hmm. fine um yeah met a friend mm-hmm. okay you met a friend okay yes. great 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 then then i had a fight with a senior okay you fought with the senior had yeah. an uh-huh. argument okay <laughs> <laughs> that's good good natural humans have to really have good, both good and bad things okay then with a senior then 
then um, otherwise the other things are normal yeah um, there was no traffic yeah that's that's a big thing <laughs> yes. in if you, if you were in a yes. good city big city traffic Fine. free road yes and um, then i made some charity yes you donated money um some medicines very good very good yeah then and then um had lunch fine had a birthday lunch okay with whom a friend a oh, great so in the, in on a, on a, on a, on, a, on a single day you had lot of events so you can write lot of things with yes yes then then and um you haven't you haven't you think of how was your mood how was your feeling it was mixed uh, so when i met a friend um i was happy when jubilant you, yeah fine yeah. right right there right that mixed feelings yes mixed feelings then when you quarreled with a senior yeah then what was it <laughs> um a little angry yes so i think i'm going to write uh, my diary on the basis of these points okay now let's let's look at what uh, tanvi has done hmm. she has gathered the idea that's what she has put it in a kind of web or or concept uh, uh, formation or mind map we call it so learners when we start writing uh, writing is not one time thing we need to really undergo a process that's what she has done it that first thing of first idea first thing uh, writer does is jotting down ideas gathering ideas that's what she has done so yeah. what 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 are you going to do now so i'm going to frame sentences on the basis of uh, these experiences great 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 that's good so put it okay. and now now yes. let me also ask you you hmm. must be you must be prioritizing your ideas right so the what which one i will i will i'll present first which one i will take it later hmm. so it may be what we call chronological what happened first what followed next right the other one is what is the important thing what is was the, what was the dominant thing right so, uh, yeah that's right so you can start with that <laughs> so before that hmm. can you also begin with 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 saying oh, this was my feeling today then you start writing right okay now now this is a diary hmm. so what would your diary have at the top or somewhere so a diary has a particular format okay. unlike a uh, notice yeah. or an essay um we even notice also has a format a yes a right. different one oh, yeah yeah so in diary we mention the date okay right i'll mention today's date which is 8th july 8th july, yeah. 8th july. july 2022 okay fine and uh, we also right? mention the day date which yes. is friday fine and uh, like we are assuming that uh, i'm writing at the end of the day so, so i'll write the time as well uh, which is 9 uh, 9 pm yeah mm. yeah so now now so okay um my day should i start writing yes my day was a mixed bag mm. of yeah yeah uh, you speak it you speak it out and write okay. so that let learners listen yeah <laughs> my day was a mixed bag of uh, feelings mm. fine i was happy what, what was the feeling uh be it uh happy okay and um angry okay not sad eh no okay um and yeah. satisfied okay you are satisfied with the day okay yeah all right great learners she has brought in three or four aspects within this one sentence let us notice we'll come back and visit it ah oh, fine go ahead go ahead mm. okay um prioritize I, which, what, what, which was the uh, most important thing 
um, should I go with the chronologic chronology mm -hmm. or uh, should I go with what uh, I liked the most? Whatever me, but I would say that you what you liked the most. Okay, okay. so uh, the birthday lunch, mm -hmm. uh, it was my friend's birthday. Mm -hmm. It was your friend's birthday. My friend's birthday, mm. and we, uh, me and me, and my other friends mm -hmm. gave her a surprise birthday party. Okay. You gave the point, but she yeah. didn't give you. Okay, fine. All right. All right. Her that, suspending. Oh, that's, good. that's good, yeah. Gave her a surprise party. Fine. We had pizzas. Mm. Mm. <laughs> then? And um, it was fun. Fun to be around. Okay. Now let, let me ask you. Let me yeah. stop and ask you. You like you, you didn't like to say your your uh, friend's name. Um. Of course you know. So I, you know, yeah. Uh, but but <laughs> say, say it. My friend so and so's birthday. So you put insert it. No issue. No issue. Same. Okay. Uh. Um. So yeah. it was my friend. That, that's what needed. That is Garima. Garima's, huh? Friend, Gar you, friend. Friend Garima's. Oh, yes, fine, great. Birthday. So, yes. Birthday, then? Um, and me and my other friends gave her a surprise party. Mm -hmm. We had pizzas, and it was fun to be around uh, my, my dear, dearest loved ones okay fine great okay so that's you one said you, part. you said you met your friend yes that is another yeah so this was lunch yeah and um, while i was um, after the lunch mm. i went to an ngo where I donated clothes mm. and medicines to the for the poor children. Fine. That's great thing you have done. That's why you said you are. It was a, uh, satisfactory. Fine. In the day was a kind of complete satisfaction. Yes. Fine. All right. Next. Um, See, why? you have jotted down a lot of lot of ideas there. Yeah. So you would like to bring all of those yeah? into into my diary. Oh uh, yes. So here I would like to ask you something, sir. Um, these days. People don't prefer writing diary okay. uh, because if they're writing by pen, they're making mistakes and they'll cut it, something like that. So people prefer digitally. Okay. Either they write blogs or even if they write diary uh, in their laptops, as in it's all digital. They Fine. don't prefer using pen. So is it also, will it be the same just as diary writing? Okay. Now there, there are two things you say also. Whether mm -hmm. Uh, people can write diary in digital form fine you write mm. anywhere but <laughs> blogs is for public others to read right. so diary is for yourself so in this case uh, i would prefer diary is a personal ones in a way that your your events your feelings emotions so you keep it yourself maybe later you want to reveal to others so in that case uh, i would prefer writing writing with a pen that's of course in the in, in my actual diary but if people want to write digitally, fine, well and good. Hmm. Uh, but don't write, diary is not for others. Even though we train you to write a diary to your children, but uh, your diary is not meant for others, it's for yourself. Maybe later your children, grandchildren uh, take up your diary and read, oh, this was the time. That, that was the thing. 
so we will come to that uh, you complete it we will come to have another uh, another discussion on some of the great diaries of the world absolutely yeah. um so i went to the ngo and uh, while i was on my way so you yeah you met your friend yeah uh no yeah to while on my, i was on my way to the ngo there was uh, the road was smooth it's a natural <laughs> it's yes uh, because it was um, the afternoon time mm. and uh, it's generally uh, full of traffic mm. but uh, there was no traffic on my way so i was happy and uh, i didn't waste my time um, that's why the road was smooth and um, traffic free which was unusual so you were you were lucky today yeah that that's the thing unusual and i saved some time fine that that that's the great thing yeah um yeah so after um that i met an old friend great yeah i can mention the name it is yes yeah webham great and after uh, after long uh, time yes mm. after 5 years so oh, great then 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 it's 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 it's, it's a great thing it's it's a big big thing yeah yeah so and uh, we discussed a lot of things like how he um he has changed his job great oh and how i am planning my next international trip fine international solo trip basically right. we had a lot to catch up okay fine that's right so you, you need not write everything yeah then then what more you want to write so um yes um before the day ended mm. i you didn't mention about the quarrel with your yeah uh, here that's <laughs> yeah, you to add, yeah. towards the end i mentioned yeah, yeah yeah i had an argument mm. with a senior over work fine that um spoiled my mood fine so so would you like to close it now hence mm. it was a mixed day mixed yeah. feeling yeah it was it, it uh, you had kind of uh, mixed mixed feeling you write in your own words yeah hence mm. it was uh it was a normal normal day day uh, but you had a party you have met a new mm -hmm. old friend how, how do you say it's a normal day fine all right <laughs> we will we'll accept it <laughs> learners it's it, it's uh, it's up to you learners you 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 evaluate her <laughs> uh, means of course not language wise idea wise all right now i'm going to request you to read out to the learners okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my day was a mixed bag of feelings be it happy angry and satisfied okay, you had everything yeah fine all right 
it was my friend Karima's birthday and me and my other friends gave her a surprise party. We had pizzas and it was fun to be around my dearest loved ones. I went to an NGO where I donated clothes and medicines for the poor children. While I was on my way to the NGO, the road was smooth and traffic free, which was unusual and I saved some time. After that, I met an old friend Webhav after five years and we discussed a lot of things like how he has changed his job and how I'm planning my next international solo trip. But before the day ended, I had an argument with a senior over work that spoiled my mood. Hence, it was a normal day. Fine. All right. Thank you very much. You have done well. And moreover, we must thank you that your diary is written. You have read out everybody. <laughs> that which generally we don't do. Now, look at it. I am not going to get into what you have written. Uh, because before the day ended, you said, as the day ended. It's fine. So, you may write it. Let us, what Tanvi did uh, from the beginning to now. Uh, let's take a look at it. She has really uh, jotted down the points. Then, started writing. So now look at it. This is called a kind of process she followed. What is the process she followed? She followed jotting down the ideas then start writing. So mm -hmm. generally when you write a good write-up, maybe an article or a letter, mm -hmm. so we need to really undergo a kind of process in order to learn to write. So right. let's, let's look at that. What is what the process is. So here is the a slide for you. Okay. This is process approach. If you look at number one, uh, she brainstormed herself. So, what would what would I be writing uh, in that uh, uh, mind map? See that met a friend, had a birthday party, visited an NGO, kind of. So, the ideas come. Learners, at the end of the day, what you write is your ideas becoming a write-up. This is one. So, look at it. The first, you brainstorm yourself in order to gather ideas, then outline it. Since it's only a, a thirty minutes uh, discussion, we can't have everything. Uh, together. So, she herself uh, mentally uh, created an outline what I would be writing. We discussed that. Then we moved on to she started writing. But when you write a good writer, be it a short story or a, or a poem, whatever, that's what all writers do. They write many, many drafts. So, you have to write the first draft, then correct it, then edit it, then you have the final song, final draft. That's all. But what you have done is uh, you, you brainstormed yourself, then made an outline for yourself through discussion and started writing. In between, I was intervening to uh, disturb you or, or get your ideas better, mm. uh, prioritizing that way. So, in between, you know, use some of the cohe coherence markers. Mm. So, you said that my day was a satisfactory day. So, it, it takes the reader mm. or you yourself into the write-up, right. then, then you start writing. You, 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 you put a kind of coherent order. This will come first followed by this kind of thing. This is one. Another one is as the day ended, before the day ended, this are all we call it, we connect one idea with another idea. Mm -hmm. We connect one sentence with another sentence. Right. So, this is we call it coherence markers. Learners, you write your coherence markers. As you do the uh, process approach to writing, if you look at the slide again, uh, and the, 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 the outlining, writing the first draft, second draft makes you to connect the ideas. This is what a good uh, writer does. There are some writers like Amitabh Ghosh and many, many great writers, they write 10, 20 drafts in order to improve the write-up. So learners, in order to become a writer, please follow a kind of process, undergo a process so that your ideas come, then you put your ideas together, then start writing. Now let's look at another slide. Uh, there are many forms of writing. So, could I ask you to read? Absolutely. Only the bolder ones, not the smaller ones. Personal writing, hmm. public writing, creative writing, social writing, study writing, institutional writing. Okay. Learners, for each 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 type of writing, each genre of writing, you need to really follow different approach, different process. Look at personal writing is a diary writing. Nobody is going to ask you why you wrote this way or that way. So, you have complete freedom. Suppose you are writing an institutional writing, 
government gives a uh, sorry an institution gives an order circular there is a set of official language is followed mm. so <laughs> there also you need to see that timing uh, what time what is expected of the people who read then creative writing is poetry so lots of things learners you need to really understand then for each of this writing mm. we need to really conceptualize create an outline then write now 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 look at it uh, what makes a good writer there are 10 points i may request you read yes sir. Uh, yeah always thinks of the audience okay when i write something i am writing for somebody Hmm. Okay, diary is for your own self. Okay, next one. Yeah. Does okay. not deviate from the main purpose. Okay, what? What? This is the, you. Are, you. You wrote the diary one. Yes, hmm. it is. Third one. Spends considerable time to plan ideas and arguments. Fine, great. So she spent time in order to make the uh, write up very well. Then hmm. makes good use of reliable sources of knowledge. Great. So. Your knowledge was today's your own experience, mm. your own happenings. Fine. Yeah. Then let ideas flow smoothly, coherence and cohesion. Okay, that's what we discussed. Yeah. She she decided which one she would be writing first, then which one she would be moving forward to, then how she would connect. Mm. That's what coherence of ideas. Then follows a rough organization plan. Okay, there there must be some plan within the uh, writer's mind. Or it may be explicit plan, I will write this first, second, third, like that. But you had your own plan, okay? Right. But you prioritized your, your own flow. Uh, flow. That means your own incidents. Right. Birthday was your first priority. Right. Then meeting the friend. Then mm. next. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Mm. Seeks and makes use of feedback. Okay. So I was actually intervening to give feedback. Suppose when you write something, small write up, a short story or an article, you give it to somebody. Here you, give, you show to your teacher, get the feedback, then decide how you can improve. Yeah. Gives a lot of attention to choice of words, okay. Lexis. That's what, the, the words you use. Right. Suppose you, here you said that I met an old friend, hmm. I donated money, some of the words. The, the way you choose the words matter when you write for others hmm. and of course for you, yourselves. So you, you, what was the word, how did you start to say it was a mixed feeling. Right. So that, that's what you are feeling, that conveys, okay, she has both this, this, this and that, good and bad or uh, happiness as well as yeah. anger, anger, angry, hmm. okay, fine, next. Is all Willingly over? receives hmm. or revises hmm. Accuracy and appropriacy. Okay. In, in the process approach, learners, you must have thought, you must have thought, uh, you must have seen that how the draft is being revised and revised. Right. Hmm. And the last point is, looks back at the writing at long intervals. Fine. So, you write today, hmm. then leave it for a day or, or a week, then visit again. That's fine. Absolutely. All right, so, learners, uh, let me thank you. <laughs> so, you also please write your diary, at least today's diary in order to see how you are writing. Right. So thank and you let, very much, Tanvi. Let me thank you, sir, for uh, giving us all the details about how one can be a good diary writer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all the viewers for watching this very interesting session. If you are planning to write your diary, please watch this session and then write your draft. So uh, once again, thank you for being with us and uh, do not go anywhere. We're coming back with another session of ours and that will be of maths. The topic would be chapter number 8, Quadrilaterals, part 1. And for this maths class, please be here. Keep on watching PME with our channel. Take great care of yourself. Namaskar.